Lydia Priestess Honeymoon. Hmm. Hmm, sitting, being, being with all that's here. Hmm. Hmm. Loving it, loving life. Today would have been my stepmom's 85th birthday. It's coming up to four years in November since they died in a car accident. And yeah, so four years ago today, my mom was getting like her second brain surgery. And this life, how life happened. What, what did I miss? Talking to this little cutie on Snapchat going, I'm like, what did I miss? And like, nothing. It's like, yeah, I did miss something because life is always happening, right? And life happens for us. And life goes on with or without us. <laughs> and I went into my feelings of grief when my moms were killed and just healed so much of the parts of me that really needed healing, even like past line, like ancestral lines healed back so many generations, my maternal grandmother and back and back and back. <sighs> I was doing actually healing with her and then my cousin killed herself and just wondering, you know, if this pleasure, really having this thought of like, can people handle this much pleasure? Like I was having this healing, meditative journey in the past healing shit from my grandmother who had abused her kids and let her husband let her husband like she was probably oh my god this is just where they're at at that time like she was doing her best with what she knew was it And then me, this morning, I dropped my dog off to get spayed and find out she's pregnant with two puppies. Go ahead with the surgery. Wow. And I'm about to meet, like, these people that I just said that I would be a surrogate for. And the vet calls me like, oh, yeah, she's pregnant with two puppies. I'm like, I've had two abortions. <laughs> And now I'm doing this journey of a surrogacy. Basically, is it to like make up for those abortions? Make up for it? Like I've accepted that. I've accepted everything that's got me to this place, right? But maybe there is like a piece of that that it makes up for those or it's giving a gift of life to people who can't have kids on their own as gay couple. My moms were... My mom was a lesbian. I was raised by two women. <clears throat> it's so crazy how life happened. The things that happened, these connections. And did I do the right thing? I can't question myself. I'm not going to feel guilty. You know, I felt... Just make a choice and go with it and stand behind it, right? I'm not going to let myself, like... Of course, I'll be thinking about it because I am a deep thinker. Overthinking or deep thinking? Is there a difference? <laughs> Overanalyzing? I'm processing and just, oh, I just hope that she's... Okay, she will be okay. I mean... There may be judgments. People will be judging and talking to a friend, just going, everything's a judgment, and I'm okay with my judgments, and I don't give a fuck what other people are judging about me. That's the level of where I'm at, because the only way we can all get along through that understanding is to just accept pure acceptance, but also, hmm, 
There's work to be done. Listening to others. Not needing to defend my things, my beliefs. Letting people just have their differences. Hello. Full acceptance of myself too and exactly how I show up in every moment. I'm not gonna stop showing up as me, calling more of my highest self and my soul back to me so I can live in this fully connected way. Whether people want to be here or not, it doesn't matter. Changing the stories, the narrative, writing better stories. I deserve this. I have done the work and it is here. I'm not going to let anything stop me. Not this pregnancy. Like, poor baby, though. Oh. Give her lots of extra love and cuddles. And here's Adam cuddling on me. He's like, where's my sister? Where'd you take her? <laughs> like, stop projecting my feelings onto my animals. Because, like, they absorb it. They're energetic beings. And, like, but I don't think they put the stories onto the feelings the way that we do. But then I put it onto them, and then they, like, internalize it. But there have been signs anyways. Can't believe it. She's not even, like, a year old. She's not even nine months. Thank you. So it was for the best. Anyways, now the kids are crying. Going to do pumpkins. Let's get messy. Let's just get right into the thick of it. Pull those guts out of the pumpkin. Like, eh, eh. Get it all over me. Wear it. Love it. Mwah. Blur baby. Have a beautiful Sunday. Thank you so much for being here, reaching out. Get, get at me for that serpent sex magic session. Let me help you wake up to your divinity. Ah, Blair, baby. <laughs>